Hey, what's up everyone? Here's my top 20 films of 2010. I know this was a little delayed, but I was going to wait closer to when the Oscars are, and the Oscars are tomorrow. So I'm going to get straight into this because I'm going to try to do all 20 of them in one video. So let's get straight into it with number 20 film, which is... Hot Tub Time Machine, one of the few comedies in the last few years that I still think is hilarious to this day, really. After a year, I still laugh at this movie thinking about it, just thinking about the little things here and there, like uh, the Great White Buffalo and what the hell that means. And really, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And really, it's just a really funny film, and that is my number 20. I'm going to kind of go fast with these anyway, so number 20, Hot Tub Time Machine, a really, really funny film. I really enjoyed it. So let's go on to number 19. Jackass 3D, a hilarious film. I really, really enjoyed this one, just like I enjoyed Jackass 1 and 2. And, of course, all the guys are back. Johnny Knoxville, Bam, um, uh, Midget Guy, I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Mini-Me? I don't know. Uh, well, Wee Man, there you go. Wee Man and oh, all those other guys are back to do stupid shit to their bodies. And it's funny, and I really enjoyed it. 3D was great, too. Uh, one of the few movies out there this year that was really fantastic in 3D. So... Overall, great film. Let's go on to number 18. Well, great comedy film. Let's go on to number 18. Red, retired, extremely dangerous, starring, of course, the mighty Bruce Willis and Morgan Freeman and all those other old people, uh, is my number 18. I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie. It really was a great, great little film. And, and when I mean little, I mean it had a pretty big budget, but not as big as all these other CG explosion filled movies. But still, it was a great little action film. Really fun. Really liked the characters. Bruce Willis, of course, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, uh, uh, Helen Mirren, uh, a whole bunch of great actors, and I really enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, very fun movie. Definitely something I'm going to watch again. Number 18, Red. So let's go on to number 17, which is another action film, which is The A-Team, another fantastic action movie for this year, just like Red. Really, really fun. The four main leads were great. Just a, a really, really fun time, and very surprising how good it actually was, because I was actually kind of dreading this movie, but really... It was fun. It was really, really fun and definitely a fantastic, a fantastic good time. So, anyway, there you go. There's my number 17. Let's go on to number 16. Shower Island, the other movie with Leonardo DiCaprio in it for 2010. And wow, this was a great film. Very psychological, very great. And, you know, it's Martin Scorsese, so it has to be good. I don't think it's. Fant as fantastic as I remembered it, because when I first saw it, I thought it was amazing. I really thought it was like a 9.3, 9.4 out of 10. I think it's a little less than that now, but it's still a great film. Number 16 is Shutter Island. Let's go on to number 15. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2, do I need to say anything about Iron Man 2? Well, I guess I do, because it is number 15. I have to explain why it's number 15 and not number 2 or 3, like Iron Man 1 was. It's not as good as Iron Man two, uh, 1, of course not. Uh, some of the characters are less likable than they were in Iron Man 1. Uh, some of the villains are a little disappointing to see on the screen, like Whiplash, because he doesn't actually fight all that much. He fights once, and that's about it. And, you know, come on, it's freaking... It's freaking the wrestler. I want to see him beat the shit out of people. Okay, it's Mickey Rourke. Come on, and uh, he doesn't really. But still, it was a great film. Another action film. Uh, you get, you get, you get to tell the first ten on my list are definitely going to just be action films. But still, great film. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but not as much as Iron Man one. But still, it's number fifteen because it's still a lot of fun. So let's go on to number fourteen. Tron Legacy is number 14, probably my most anticipated movie of 2010, and kind of disappointing, but I'm going to say it right here, it's still a great film. <laughs> it's number 14, it's it's good enough to get into the top 20, and I really still enjoyed the hell out of it. I liked it a lot the first time I saw it, but then I saw it a second time, I liked it a little bit more, so that's why it's definitely number 14, not like 20 or 19. So, there you go. I really loved Tron Legacy. The visuals were great. The soundtrack was epic. The acting was pretty good overall. And, really, great film. Great little film here. <laughs> Not little, but a uh, great film. Uh, can't wait for the third one if they decide to make it. So, anyway, let's go on to number 13. Kick-Ass is number 13, and I really love this film. I'm going to tell you right now, I really do, but thinking about it, this is gonna, after this, there's going to be so many great films that are better than this by a little bit that it's like, 
I was really having a hard time doing this list because I had so many films that were so great this year, and Kick-Ass was just a, a fantastic film, so much fun. If I had to think about it, I've seen it a couple more times after it came out on DVD, and I didn't really care for it all as much as I did the first time, because the first time I almost gave it a 10 out of 10. I was really close to giving it a 10 out of 10. And, you know, the second couple of times it was like, a, all right, now it's like a 9, and the other time it was like, eh, it's like a, a little below a 9. And, you know, I'm going to stick to that. It's about below a 9. So I really still enjoy it, but not as much as the first time. Uh, so, yeah, Kick-Ass is still a great film. Uh, let's go on to number 12. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, a.k.a. the movie that is probably going to get me killed by all the hipsters out there because I only put it number 12. Sorry, people, but I really, really enjoyed the film. I really did. Not as much the second time as the first time, just like Kick-Ass, but really, that's what action films are these days. Like, they're, they'll be really fun when you're in the theater, but when you're at home by yourself, you know, it's not as fun. So I still have to look at it like that. And it really wasn't as good as the first time. The first time, I loved the hell out of it. The second time, I still loved it enough to put it in number 12, but not as much as I did the first time. So I still love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. But not as much. The visuals were great. The acting was really fun. Uh, it's still funny. Uh, I really liked it. Let's go on to number 11. The Town is my number 11 movie of 2010. And I wanted to put it higher, but everything else later on is really just amazing. And this is amazing, too. This is really where it's getting into the amazing film category. And The Town is... Definitely a fantastic film. I really loved it. Ben Affleck is great in the role. Uh, he's a great director also. He directed this, if you don't know. He also directed Gone Baby Gone, which is an underrated movie. I love that movie. Jeremy Renner's in it also. He's great. And overall, uh, John Hamm's in it also. For all of those Mad Men people are probably going to yell at me. And they're going to be Mad Men after this. So, oh, get it? Get it? No? Okay. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah. I really did enjoy this film, though. And the acting was fantastic. So, anyway, there you go. Black Swan is my number 10, and wow, this was an amazing film. I know a lot of people could give me crap because it's not higher, but really, it is an amazing film. Black Swan is mesmerizing. It is, but it's not as good as everything else that's going to come after it. And the next film that I'm going to tell you, number 9, you're probably going to be like, how the hell is that better than Black Swan? But I really think it is. Natalie Portman did a fantastic job. Everybody else did also, but it's not a film that's going to make, it's not going to be something I remember two years from now or anything. If you mention it, I'll be like, oh yeah, that movie, but it's not something I'm going to really remember, but still a fantastic film for right now, and I really, really enjoyed it. I really did. So Black Swan is a great film still number 10 so let's go on to number nine how to train your dragon is my number nine and i love this film i really do the animation is fantastic the characters are really memorable and really cool the action scenes are great all the flight scenes are amazing the 3d was unbelievably awesome just like avatars was and other films i saw in the last uh few months I would say because there was a lot of good 3D in the last few months for me at least and overall just a really 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 good looking film and I love this film I really do it's a great film I'm a sucker for animated films so you'll be seeing a couple more later on in this uh, top 10 so anyway let's go on to number 8 which is 127 Hours, directed by Danny Boyle and starring the amazing James Franco, who was just, I thought he was probably the best actor, lead acting performance of last year. And I hope he wins the Oscar, but I'm pretty sure he's not, because first of all, he's hosting the Oscars with Anne Hathaway, so obviously he's not going to win it, because he's hosting it. If he does, then that's pretty cool. But hopefully he does, I really hope he does, but he probably won't. But still... Great job by James Franco. Great job by Danny Boyle. Amazing film. Definitely sets up the claustrophobic environment. And it's pretty much a one-man show, which is going to be familiar to, I mean, very similar to another film that I'm about to talk about, which is my number seven, which is Buried, starring Ryan Reynolds. Of course, this film I thought was amazing, and it's very similar to 127 Hours, like I just said. But really, it's an amazing film. It's pretty much a one-man show with Ryan Reynolds, and all he has is a cell phone, so he can talk to a whole bunch of other people. And I thought he was amazing in this uh, film. I didn't think he was as good as James Franco, but I thought the film was just a tad bit better than 127 Hours because of where it's set and how much danger there is in just this one box. And I really, I just thought the film was fantastic. And overall, Buried is an underrated movie that I, I love. I really do. Anyway, let's go on to number six, which is True Grit, which was an amazing film. Of course, it's number six, and I love the hell out of this film. But 
I don't think it's one of the best westerns of all time. Definitely not. I don't think it's in the top three of best westerns that I've seen, but really, maybe in the top five, maybe, because this was really an amazing film. I didn't see that many westerns, by the way. I've seen, like, maybe 20 tops, but really, True Grit was an amazing film. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely number six. I love it. Jeff Bridges is amazing in this film. Uh, All the other cast members, Matt Damon, the new girl, I can't remember her name. It's like Haley Stanfield, I think. Uh, But she was great. Everybody was great. The cinematography was amazing. Even the soundtrack was really good. Uh, Coen Brothers do another amazing job. True Grit, hopefully we'll see more Western movies come out now because of this film's success. But right now, this is a great film. I love it. True Grit's a great film. Let's go on to number five. The Social Network. And before you yell at me because it's only number five, I love the film. Don't get me wrong. The dialogue's fantastic. The direction's fantastic. The, just, uh, the, the, even the soundtrack's fantastic. The acting is amazing in the film. Some of the best of last year. But don't get, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I love the film, but I don't think it's definitely the best film of the year. I, I wouldn't be pissed if it won uh, Best uh, Picture for the Oscars, mostly because I don't really care what the Oscars think anyway nowadays. But really, I love the film, but I don't think it's the best of the year, this year. But it is an amazing film. I love it. So don't hate me because I don't uh, love it as much as you, but it's still an amazing film. Let's go on to number four, which is... Tangled is my number four, and before you scream and yell at me because I think this is a little better than Social Network, I'm sorry. I love this film. I really do. The characters are great. Uh, the the story is just I, I, the obvious Rapunzel story, but it's still great. The music in it is really catchy and very good. The the col- the, the animation is very vibrant and nice. I just love this film. I really do. It is one of my most. It probably is one of my most favorite underrated animated films of all time. and I mean, it did make a lot of money, but people aren't talking about it all that much. I love Tangled. I really do. That is my number four. So if you don't like it, whatever. Let's go on to number three. The Fighters, starring Mark Wahlberg. Uh, screw all those people. Christian Bale, Christian Bale, and Christian Bale. This amazing film was amazing. Yeah, you heard me. This amazing film was amazing. This was probably the wrestler of this year, and I really enjoyed it. I really freaking did. It is definitely a fantastic film. I think this is better than, of course, The Social Network, True Grid, 127 Hours, and Black Swan, The Town also. I really think this is an amazing film with fantastic acting, so much fun too, and it's really kind of lighthearted in a sense, but really, just an amazing film. I really, I really loved it. I don't know. I really did. Fantastic film. Let's go on to number two, which is Toy Story 3. I don't care what anybody says out there. Yes, my number two film is an animated film. I mean, sure, I've had like three other animated films in my top 20, but still, this was an amazing, amazing accomplishment of storytelling mixed with animation, mixed with heart, mixed with character, mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff. And really, it was an amazing film. If you if you love Toy Story 1 and 2, of course you'll love this one because it really is pretty much a Toy Story movie. And it's a great conclusion to a great trilogy. And wow, I love this film. I really do. Number two is Toy Story 3. But what is my number one? Of course, it has to be that revolutionary film that everybody's talking about that is just amazing, that made millions and millions of dollars at the box office. My number one film of the year is Vampires Suck. Of course, this movie was so it's, it's it's a revolutionary film. It really is. It's bringing back the spoof movies. And really, everything I said about Jason uh, Friedberg and Aaron Seltzer, really, I, I called those guys geniuses before. But really, after this film, I, I'm just kidding. I, I can't even say that. I can't even finish this. Really, <laughs> screw this. Screw these two that make these movies and screw this movie. But anyway, my number one film of 2010 is... Inception. Of course, Inception is my number one. It's probably one of my favorite films of the last few years. I enjoyed the hell out of Inception, of course. Uh, maybe not as much as Vampires Suck, but no, I'm just kidding. Really, va- I mean, not Vampires. Uh, Inception is an amazing film. Christopher Nolan, he can do no wrong. I mean, really, I don't think he made one bad film in his life. He is an amazing director. I can't wait to see Dark Knight Rises. I love this film. I really do. Inception is an amazing film. One of the best freaking stories out there right now, really. I mean, the story is just (laughs) so innovative and so great. Characters are amazing, too. I really like the characters. And overall, the acting, everything in the film, I love. So there you go. There's my top 20. Inception takes it, but some of you probably already guessed that. 
Anyway, the Oscars are tomorrow, so I'll probably be live tweeting it. So if you want to see me live tweet it, and when I mean live tweet, I mean I'm just going to type a whole bunch of, uh, oh, this guy won. But anyway, I'll talk about it in on my Twitter. Go follow me at uh, www.twitter.com slash God. Go follow me there. Uh, I'll be talking about it tomorrow. So there you go. Oscars tomorrow. There's my top 20. Inception's awesome. I don't care what you say. Anyway, there you go. Thank you and goodbye.